Do you want to animate your MetaHuman like a pro? Well, if so, then you might not know all of the tools that are available to you that will make your life so much easier. And in this episode, I'm gonna be showing you every tool that I use to animate MetaHumans in Unreal Engine 5.6. This is Virtual Production Insider, let's get into it. What's up guys, my name is David Stapp. I'm the director of virtual production at Form Studios and I've been using Unreal Engine as a filmmaking tool for the past several years. And this has led me to working with MetaHumans on several different cinematics. And I've gotten to see how far you can push MetaHumans and the different tools and workflows that will get you better results faster. And in case you haven't heard, we actually have a competition going on right now called the Virtual Filmmaker Challenge. We are challenging you to create a short film up to 60 seconds long. It can be live action or animated. And we've got some insane judges and prizes up for grabs. And that contest is going on right now as of the posting of this video. And it will be going all the way through August 31st. And if anything, I hope this video inspires you to go and use MetaHuman to create something awesome and enter that competition. So if you want to learn more, there is a link in the description below that will take you to the website to learn more. All right, so let's get into it. And the very first tool that I use is one that I've actually talked about before here on the channel, but I've never really given a proper demo of it and shown you guys how it really works. And that is the MetaHuman animation tool by Locadrome. And this is literally one of my favorite tools out there, mainly because it's free. And I literally use it on every project that involves a MetaHuman. So to start, all you gotta do is head over to Fab. You can add this to your library, and then you can use the Epic Games Launcher to add the tool to your project. Now, the only plugin that's required for this tool to work is the common UI plugin. So make sure you have that enabled in your plugins list. And now once you restart your project, you will find the Locadrome folder in your content browser. And this contains the utility widget that you can open up and use to control your MetaHumans. All you have to do then is open up a sequencer, add your MetaHuman to that sequence. And now in the MetaHuman animation tool, you can click the refresh button and it should populate the MetaHuman in your scene as the one you want to manipulate using the picker. Now, if you have multiple metahumans in your scene, you'll see that there is a drop down menu. So you can actually swap back and forth between different metahumans in your project. And you also will see that you have the ability to swap between the body control rig and the face control rig with just one click. So if you're already familiar with how the control rig works with metahumans, then this is the perfect addition to just speed up your workflow and manipulating and altering the animations of your metahumans. Next up, let's talk about poses, right? And these are presets that can really really get you to a good starting point or to even layer on top of existing animations. And if you've ever had to animate the hands of a metahuman, then you know that it can be time consuming to go in and adjust the fingers to be different poses. Like if you want your metahuman to be giving a thumbs up, it takes a while to take all those different controls and manipulate them to give that look. Well, that's where the 60 free finger poses animation pack can really save you time with some different presets. And there is a free and paid version of this one. And so we're going to kind of talk about what they do and what you get with each one. So the free version is very simple. What they've done is they've targeted these different hand poses to the Unreal Mannequin, and then you can retarget that to your MetaHuman. The only thing to be aware of is you're going to have to layer those with other animation sequences in order to combine them. Now that's the free version, and it's really great that we have that, but it's honestly a little time consuming to have to do all of that to make sure you're not overriding another animation sequence. And that's why they have the paid version, which is the animation mod tool set. And this is 100% worth the money because now you actually get a UI built in that you can use to apply hand presets and then you can also keyframe it to switch between different hand poses throughout the animation. I recently used this on a cinematic where we had some motion capture data but the hands came in flat because we didn't have any markers on the hands themselves. So to combat this I used the animation mod tool set to dynamically change the pose of the hands throughout the animation and it saved me so much time. And the animation mod tool set doesn't stop there, you can reverse your animation, you can mirror your animation, say your character is using their left hand in the animation, well, you can flip it and now they're using their right hand. You can repeat frames, make a looped animation, remove frames, blend with other animation, and even manipulate time. There's just so many variables in this tool set that just make it worth every penny. So if you find yourself having to constantly manipulate existing animation, you need this tool set, it is worth every penny. 
And real quick, I wanna give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is Blueberry AI. If you're tired of bouncing between software, chasing down files, or juggling endless feedback threads, Blueberry AI is a total game changer. You can view 3D models right in your browser, whether they're from Blender, Maya, 3ds Max, or more. And when it comes to collaboration, it's seamless. You and your team can review and give feedback directly on the assets, no exporting, no back and forth, just a clean collaborative interface. So if you're ready to streamline your workflow, check out Blueberry AI using the link in the description. All right, so now let's talk about animating your characters, you know, using animation or mocap, right? And this next one is one that most people know about, but there is just somebody out there who might not know about it, and that's why I wanna make sure I mention it here, but that's Mixamo. Mixamo is a website that has thousands of free motion capture animations at your disposal. All you need is an Adobe account to log in, and you get access to all of them. You can choose the one you like, export it out, and then you can easily retarget it to your MetaHuman inside of Unreal Engine. And ever since they added the automatic retargeting in Unreal Engine. It's just so easy to get Mixamo animations applied to your metahumans. And I use these all the time when I'm kind of pre vising out sequences before I've captured my motion capture, right? It's just so nice to be able to quickly throw some animation on my character just to kind of visualize what we're doing in the scene, how I want to set up my camera. Mixamo is just a lifesaver for that kind of stuff. And the other one that I want to mention that is very similar, a lot of people know about this, but it's Move AI. You know, this is where you can use an iPhone or now that they've updated, you can really use any video source, upload it, and it will extract the motion data to a character that you can then apply to your MetaHuman. There are several competitors out there, such as Quick Magic. They all do a great job. This is just the one that I found myself using the most, and it has a convenient plugin for Google Chrome. If you were to capture it using the iPhone app, it generates a code that you put in the plugin in your Google Chrome web browser, and then it immediately downloads the FBX file for you to then throw into Unreal Engine. And Move AI has a free and paid version, so you can start with the free version. You're going to be limited on the amount of time you get to record your animation and of course the amount of credits you have to process the animation but it's nice that they have the free options so that you can try it out before you get the paid version which comes with even more credits and a higher time limit so that you can record even more animation and the last two plugins that i love to use are for facial animation and these are paid plugins but i guarantee you will find value in them and they are zen blink and zen dine by jibatsu these are tools designed for quickly adding life and adjusting facial animation for your metahuman. If you've ever used the audio to facial animation feature in Unreal Engine, then you know how amazing it is, but also how limited it is in facial expressions. It can generate blinks and very basic eye and cheek movement, but that's really it. And as of Unreal Engine 5.6, they now give you the option to add an expression so you can say, hey, take this audio and make them look happy when they're saying it or make them look sad. But that's really the only control we get is you can just add one preset expression to the whole thing. But that that's where Zenblink and Zendine can take it even further. So starting with Zenblink, if you use audio to facial animation, this thing is a game changer because now you can add things like auto blinking, pupil constriction, and even tell it to follow a target in the scene. So say you've got a dialogue scene between two different metahumans. Well, you want to make sure that those metahumans are looking at each other, especially if they're moving around in the scene. You want to make sure that their eyes are locked to one another. Well, this is where Zenblink really shines because it has a target actor following feature and you can tell it to follow the other metahuman and their eyes and even head will move in a very natural way. And Zendine takes it a step further for really adjusting all other parameters of the face. You can simulate breathing, add micro cicadic movement, and even apply smoothing to existing facial animations. So let's say you use your phone to capture some facial animation, but you might notice a little bit of noise or jitter in the animation. Well, Zendine can actually apply smoothing and help filter out some of that noise to get a much more realistic looking results. And that's probably my favorite feature is being able to smooth out jitters in motion capture, especially facial motion capture. So Zendine and Zenblink are amazing additions for adding life and realism to your metahumans. So those are the tools that I'm using on almost every cinematic that involves metahumans, but I'd love to hear from you guys. If there's a tool or a workflow that you're using, post it in the comments below and I might feature it in a future episode. And as a reminder, we released a course called Unreal Engine Film School that dives deep into cinematic lighting and camera composition inside of Unreal Engine. Engine. And there's actually only one week left as of the posting of this video to get that course at a discounted rate. So you can use the link in the description below to head over to Gumroad and grab that course before it goes up in price. And if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like, join our Discord server, and of course, subscribe. And as always, I'm David Stapp with Virtual Production Insider, and we'll see you guys next time.